So we are going to do this experiment from start to finish. This is Andrew Lakashman, and I'm here with Simon Quellenfield. And we are going to do an experiment called Color Blossoms. First, we're going to pour some milk into a bowl. This is whole milk, which is important for this because we need the fat. Then we're going to put a few drops of food color in different places into the milk. A little bit of yellow, different kind of yellow. That's green. And some purpley kind of color. And some honest to goodness green. And a little pink. Okay. Then we're going to take a little bit of dishwashing detergent, just a drop or two. Whoops, way too much. <laughs> but we see that the reaction is starting to happen here. All of the little droplets of fat that are coated with the surfactant layer to keep them apart are being attacked by the detergent, which is also a surfactant. And it changes their surface chemistry so that they can join together. So you can see that over time, the colors start to merge and swirl as all of those little fat droplets coalesce and join together. That's an experiment right there. We're going to leave the camera on for a little bit so you can so you can watch, but we're done talking for the time being. <laughs> Look at the blue starting to swell here. Things are moving at such a speed such that it's almost like you can't detect them moving, but they're moving really fast and everywhere. Another upwelling here in the middle of the blue. <laughs> it's interesting how every once in a while something happens. You know, there's a, a while where nothing much seems to happen, and then suddenly, whoop. So here's the shape that you get. The, the name of the experiment from. It looks like a little color blossom right there. It does look like a flower, like a petunia. 